it's Karen the Weekend Craftaholic and I'm back with my June Something Old Something New favourites. So I'll start as always with Something Old and the first one I'm going to talk about is this Alpha Stamp from Kelly Stamps. Now this seems to be my go-to one. I love the effect this gives on any layout. This is the Bishop Street Alpha Set and there's also this other one that I like as well which is quite small which is the Mini Alpha set as well. So if you're looking for a good stamp set, that's a good one to check out. It's one of my go-tos in my something old. I think I got it sometime last year. And I'll quickly show with you just a couple of layouts that I did using that. So you can see there's one here. Um, that's a layout of me and my mum. Um, and you can see the effect it gives. And, and this is using the small Alpha set. Um, I think I might have another one in here as well. Yep, yeah, that one's using the same. And that's the small alpha set here, again, mixed up with that. So you can see just how cute these alphas make your layout. The next thing is this um, etch cream. Now, I think I might do a little YouTube video because it's a very, very quick way of using this is to get etching on your glass. So this is just an example, hopefully you can see it here, um, probably not very well because it's glass, but um, it just gives an etched effect onto your glass by using this cream. Um, so I've been making lots of things as presents and things, so that's definitely been a favourite in June. The other favourite for June has been my Distress Sprayer, um, because I've been doing a lot more mixed media layouts. And I probably this is probably a good time for me to say actually my something old. That's my goal and my hope is that I might mention something you've already got in your stash, like a distress sprayer, and you think, oh, I've not used that for a while. So when I'm going through my something old, hopefully it's something you've already got that you've not used and it gives you a bit of inspiration to dig it out and use it again. So for me, the dis distress sprayer is certainly that, and this is a big part of it because I love the way it does a fine mist. Uh, but also if you do a sharp pull on it, it just gives you droplets. So you get the mix of the fine and the, the bigger drops as well. So that's another favourite for me throughout June. And then I'm going to finish off with two things that um, virtually in my craft room. So one of them is this podcast from Don Lewis. Um, I stumbled across this probably four or five months ago when I was still travelling into work. And um, there's heaps of heaps of... Um, podcasts on this for you to catch up on if you've not come across Don before. Don's another crafter based in Australia and I just love listening to her, the way she explains things, um, the techniques she uses, the descriptions, it's it's really great. So check out Don Lewis' podcast if you've not. If you prefer to watch things while you're crafting, the other one that has been on my subscription list for a long, long time is Be Valiant. I love her aesthetic, her style, the colours she uses, the layouts, the creations. She is another firm favourite of mine as well. So that is a wrap-up for my something old. Moving on to something new. These are my Vicky Butin pigment powders. And I recently did a video on this. If you're a subscriber, you may have seen that pop up. But I am absolutely loving these. I can't get enough of them. They are so versatile. This is why I've probably been using my Distress Sprayer a little bit more as well because I've been making lots of mixed media stuff and I've been using these and experimenting different ways. So, um... If you've not seen my video, I'll put a link, but um, these are definitely something new that were an absolute bag in that I've enjoyed throughout June. Now, uh, this is probably a first for me. I'm going to actually talk about three different paper collections. If you've seen my crafting plans for 2020, you'll know that I've been trying not to spend. So this is why it's unusual for me to have collections new into my craft room. The first one I want to talk about you can probably guess is Bloom Street. I'm loving the colours. I've done heaps of projects um, using this collection and I've still got loads of the stash left so this is definitely a firm favourite, the Bloom Street. Following on from that is the Magical Forest collection also by Crepe Paper and I've waited so long for this to come. I don't have all of it, um, I've just got selected sheets as well as the 6x8 paper pad and then some of the die cuts and things. Um, 
I even got this stamp set, which I don't normally do when I get paper collections. So you can see how much I absolutely loved it. See, I've got a vellum sheet ready to go with some of my favourites from that stamp set as well. So I just, I just absolutely love this. I love the little, the little bunny. Um, yeah, everything about it is an absolute favourite for me. I just love creating with beautiful little collections like this. And the last collection I want to talk about was Sweet Story by Maggie Holmes, also Crate Paper. Now I downloaded this from AC Digitals, first time I've ever done that, but I have absolutely made use of it. I found that I feel like I've got it in my groove now with a digital kits. So I've fussy cut lots of these out. I also managed to do stickers on my Cricut. Um, I did a Happy Mail swap. I'm just showing you some pictures here now as well. You might have seen that from my Happy Mail video as well that I uploaded. I just love everything about this collection. It is absolutely gorgeous to work with. So those three collections have been um, well loved and used throughout June in my craft room. And then for number five, last one is also a YouTube channel, something new for me. I don't know how I've not discovered it before, but a YouTube channel, Pink Strawberries. Now, I, obviously, I'll put links to everything down below if you've not come across her. Um, she makes gorgeous mini albums. I've been backtracking and watching lots of her older videos, but she just does amazing, like, as I say, mini albums, little library cards, pockets, all kinds of little things that I would never even dream of. And the way she explains them, how the how she makes them is um, so straightforward um, that certainly with my Happy Mail, using the Sweet Story collection, I was inspired by some of her creations, like the coin holder, for example. I followed her tutorial for that. So definitely check her out if you've not come across her. So those are my favorites for June. I've already started my list in my little uh, crafting journal of some of my favourites already for July as well, uh, believe it or not, just so, and so this is what I do so I don't forget and also make sure I don't double up on my something old. But that is it for me for today. So have a great crafting weekend and I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching.